Good morning, folks. Guess where I am? I think you can recognize this place. And despite he's wearing a mask. Hi, Jason. Hi. What's up? So, yes, I'm back at Jason's place at M1 Performance in Taman Mega PJ. And uh, yeah, he's got his uh, rim sets all in already. He's also doing tires now. But one of the coolest things I need to show you say hello to the latest Weevil to join my garage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna torture you guys a little bit uh, while I put on my shoes. Yeah, remember to take off your shoes before you go into the shop. It's very clean inside there. With a nice sofa for you to relax. So, anyway, are you ready to see the latest addition to my garage? My latest Weevil, which came in all the way from Sungai Petani Kedah. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the 1984 Mitsubishi Super Touring. Yes, it's a Galant Super Touring. If you remember this car, I was in Form 4 when this car was new. Yes, I know, those are not the original wheels, but I like this design. You know why? Because these are the wheels that I had, JRD wheels. These were the wheels I had on my first Proton Saga 1.3 Mega Valve. So I'm really, really good. Great, happy to have these wheels back again. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, I was in school when this car first came out. It is running a very, very basic 1.8 litre four-cylinder single overhead cam engine. And uh, if you remember very uh, clearly, a lot of these uh, this car's underpinnings were actually shared by the Proton Saga and Proton Iswara. Yes, that looks very familiar to all you Proton owners, I'm sure. But uh, it is slightly longer uh, and it's slightly more luxurious and it's also very, very quirky. And I'll show you why in a little while. So this car needs some work. I, I picked it up really, really cheap from Sungai Petani Kedah. It was driven down to KL by the same guy who brought me my Rock and Roller SE. So here's the first walk around. There's no tint whatsoever because the car passed Puspacom. It is original in its original state. This is one of those cars that I bought sight unseen. I only saw pictures of it. Uh, I just took it for granted that, you know, as long as it could make it to KL without any problem, it would be fine. Somebody, uh, LK actually pointed this out to me. This is actually the logo for the Sigma. Now this car, this is a Greek. Uh, logo for Sigma. This car is not a Sigma. It's a Galant Super Touring. So are you ready to see this quirky interior? Let me show you this quirky interior. Yes, the interior needs a lot of work, but it is still working. Everything here works. Check it out. Check out the two-spoke steering wheel. Yeah, and no power steering, yeah? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The roller thing still works, okay? The aircon vents are not broken. I know a lot of protons, this is one of the first things that break in old school protons. But the dashboard is still nice. And now this is the best part. Check this out. Yes, that meter looks very familiar as well. But check this out. This is the air conditioning. Okay. And this, signal stop. <laughs> and high beam. Like that. See, can you see it flash? That's the high beam. Oh man, this car. Five speed manual. It just starts up. You notice there is a, a voltage meter here. Temperature gauge, it never goes above this line. The digital clock still works. Yes, it's 11.36 a.m. And this is uh, lights, lights. Lights are here, check this out. Those are the lights. And then to turn on the aircon, is this. Yeah, I need to get the uh, idling done a little bit. But you know what? This car made it all the way from Sungai Petani. So to turn it off, it's like that. That's the temperature for the uh, air conditioning. And that's the wiper right here. And yes, they work. A bit slow because it's dry, but they work. Oh man, look at that. This car is so, so 80s. I mean, okay, I'll be honest with you. I bought the car because of these. And if you remember, there was actually a Proton Iswara, uh, sorry, a Proton Saga Cares, if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, that had this kind of uh, um, meter, not meter, but uh, instrumentation and, uh, and switch gear. Switch gear, 
yes but it was an export model called the cares if you remember that correctly see the vents are still working and they're not broken that is so so cool glove box yes i changed the uh these spark plugs but okay now all the bad news the interior needs a lot of work look at that it's coming out it has already yeah so this is this is definitely needs to be done for sure whoa the lights work <laughs> well at least one does oh it does I just need to jiggle it hey it works <laughs> oh the small little rewards in life but look at these seats these seats which bolsters and now i'm going to show you something that's even cooler at the back wait 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 check this out check this out you're going to love this yes the power windows all work you open the you open the door like this but this is the coolest thing yeah the warning lights on the door still work this is the coolest thing check this out check this out this is crazy this is crazy i just discovered this last night this is mad check it check it check it okay yes it's very dirty okay uh miss tang at lucky i hope if you're watching this please don't have a heart attack when i bring this car in okay you see this yeah it's the uh retractable armrest but you see this 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 when i pull it The back seats recline! The back seats recline! Can you see that? <laughs> oh, this car is so 80s. Look at this V-shaped headrest. Oh, man. So, yeah. Okay, no bullshit. I picked up this car for two grand. Yes, drivable. Buy and drive. But you know what? Doing up this roof lining and interior and everything is probably going to cost me the price of the freaking car. Yeah, but it drives so well. It was a buy and drive and it made it here all the way from Sungai Petani, okay? So that's really saying something. But yeah, I need a new roof liner. I need to clean up these seats or maybe I'll just rewrap them completely once and for all. Oh, 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 you are kidding me. You are kidding me. They slide! They slide! In case you want to rest your head closer here. They slide! Look at that! <laughs> what? Oh man. Oh, I already love this car. I already love this car. And it really drives really well. Yes, I got to get rid of that player because it doesn't work it's a cassette player it's definitely not original so yeah but you know what small potatoes this car was a buy and drive and it it arrived without any hassle so i'm at jason's shop for a full check uh transfuse some fluids maybe new gearbox oil but yeah this interior needs to be done now like i've always said choose the car with the best interior right so yeah mm, i'm not even listening to myself these days yeah, MC already got to me. But hey, it was a buy and drive and it's a Mitsubishi Galant Super Touring, baby. Ashtrays in the door. So politically incorrect these days. But oh man, look at how nice this car looks. In terms of the design, it's a wedge. It, it's, it's a wedge. Damn. All the lights work. It starts up in the morning on one crank, no problem. I actually love those old school JRD wheels. Really, really nice. 13 inch wheels. But there she is. There's the latest Weevil. Oh, it's gonna be a fun journey. It's gonna be a fun journey doing this up. You know what? I might not even paint it because the white paint is still quite okay. Um, badly done because there's, there's overspray, as you can see. Yeah, this is not Ake's work. I don't know who did this paint job, but you know what? Shame on you. You should have done a little bit better. 
uh, probably a budget paying job, but that doesn't mean you have to skimp and save and you know do stupid work. Yeah, gross. But uh, yeah, so there she is, folks. The latest member of my garage, the latest Weevil. You will see a lot of stuff inside here that looks very protonish, that especially. But uh, she runs, and she runs well. Very nice. So yes. Okay. So the, for the first uh, ugh, overspray, I hate overspray. For the first uh, walk around of this car, I hope you've enjoyed it. Jason's gonna do some stuff to it now. The, it's a long journey. It's gonna be a long journey for sure. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's it's actually this part of the process that I enjoy the most. Got to get that boot uh, aligned properly. It's not aligned as you can see. The hinge, the hinges, they're not aligned properly. But uh, so much stuff to do, the interior especially. I think I'm gonna leave the outside because uh, the, uh, the bumpers are original black, but they faded to Vanta black. <laughs> I bet you can't even see the bumpers right now. But yeah, they faded to Vanta black. Beautiful. Such a nice car. I've always wanted a Mitsubishi Super Touring. Always. And uh, I finally got one. So you know what? The cost to do up this car is probably going to be... No, I'm not even going to say probably. It is going to cost more than what I paid for the whole damn car. But it's going to be so worth it when it's done. This car still drives so beautifully. Really. I mean, it made it all the way from Sungai Petani Kedah. Okay, that's already saying something. 446 kilometers uh, from his house to mine and it made it without a problem. He brought his whole family. The kids were asleep in the car and uh, he's bought something else and he's gonna drive that back. But this is mine. It's in my name. It's got road tax. It's all ready to go. Here we go. And I've been driving it. I drove it last night. Drove it here. No problems whatsoever. Really, really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna get new tires, of course. I think these tires are pretty old. But uh, the journey begins. I just got the car last night and now you're, for the first time you're seeing it. So stay tuned. Lots more to come. Take care, y'all. Follow the journey of the Galant Super Touring. It's the moment of truth. Jason is jacking up the car. Let's uh, surprise him and ask him to do a quick check underneath to see what needs to be fixed. I wonder if there's gonna be a lot of leaks and stuff like that, but uh, hopefully not. And there she goes. First time being jacked in Jason's care. Jason, let's do a check underneath. Give me the bad news. <laughs> the drive shaft boot is broken on this side, bro. And I think there's a lot of, probably a lot of gunk inside. You probably need to change this. On this side, it's uh, still okay. But maybe you change both, bro. Far so good. Uh, I see a little bit of oil here, but this could be uh, oil sump from the oil sump, maybe. Yeah, you might need to tighten this one. There's some, there's some oil there. Check out this solid beam axle. <laughs> solid. Okay. Might need a new muffler. A lot of gunk on this car and there's cobwebs. I think this car was parked for quite a while. So yeah, maybe I get a new S-Flow in here. I have no idea what this is. It's on both sides, sorry. It's on both sides too. Jason, what the heck is this? Any idea? 
Uh, the water running, water running. Oh, to oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. What? Why is it? Why is it sealed up then? Ah, water running. Okay. Yeah. There's no need for this thing. All right. Hey, what's up, Johan? I wonder why this was closed up. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see a nest. Yeah. I see a bit of oil here too, bro. Well, you know what? The car is from 1984. I can't even do the math in my head. I was still in secondary school. The fact that it's still running, that's, that's what matters most. Still running. Built to last. So, um, stay tuned folks, it's gonna be a long journey. I hope you'll stick with me for it. But hey, Mitsubishi Super Touring. Can't go wrong with that.